All right, you guys, how's it going? Uh, so today we're going to be taking a look at uh, Oxbeam's 12-inch uh, LED light bar. Uh, it's a great work light, <clears throat> but uh, in this video we're just going to do an unboxing. I'm going to go over all of the uh, the specs and data on this light, uh, what makes it special among the other brands, and uh, what they're offering. And then we're going to go ahead and un uh, take this out again once it gets nice and dark out, and we're going to do the usual test, see how it lights up everything. And so you know that um, that first light, the Philips bulb. The uh, 13 and a half inch one that uh, I reviewed, you know, just for just for reference here, you know, <laughs> it was lighting up that tree way back there, um, you know, with a perfect little spot on it because it was a really focused beam, along with that one back there and that one in the back corner here, you know. So I mean, it's it's a powerful light when you think about how it's just lighting all that up in the middle of the night. So uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and get this uh, light bar open. <laughs> So this is the box that it comes in, and uh, you know, pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory. You know, it's you can definitely tell it's a 72 watt combo beam, but uh, you know, it opens up with a flap like so, and you can see just like all of their other lights, it is packaged with care. I mean, you know, I, I just can't get over how well they try and take care of uh, the product during shipping. And there was a styrofoam block here that did that, but I, you know, I was taking this out, looking at it, and everything else. And um, <clears throat> so this is your box full of hardware uh, for mounting options. And then we get to the LED light itself. And uh, this, again, it's, it's beautiful. And um, I really like, well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second, but um, it's kind of jumping the gun here. But uh, yeah, you have these four styrofoam blocks, two of which slide right over the center of it and keep the power wire nice and tidied up so it doesn't get damaged or bent in any way and then um, two on the end caps here and uh, yeah so monk first look it's a uh, very beautiful light and I think I think I nope that little plastic film is still on this so uh, yeah so let's go ahead and take these blocks off I'm gonna set you guys down here <clears throat> so let me take the end cap off and there's your power wire right here I'm just going to slide these two off, nice and easy. So yeah, that's the light right there, and I really like the way that they um, they got the floods in there. It almost looks like a um, hard to describe here, but it's you know it's it's sort of a diffused lens in a way that it's not as clear as all of these uh, spot lenses are. And um, I'm really interested to see how they went ahead and did that. It's almost like a smoked uh, sort of diffused lens, but they did it in such a way that it sort of uh, diffuses the light a lot better than uh, these these uh, spot ones here. So, <clears throat> and again, it's a very very beautiful looking light. You can see the LED sitting right there in the housing next to the reflector, and uh, just looking beautiful. And you know the other thing that I always always applaud oxbeam for is just how it feels extremely solid there's no rattling in here there's no there's nothing I mean it's it feels like an extremely rigid and uh, well-built light um, for what you're paying and uh, as always I will be putting a link to this down on Amazon where you can buy this um, <clears throat> last I checked there were there were still a few in stock but uh, continuing on with the uh, first impressions um, you have a very very nice power wire insulator here to make sure that nothing gets in there so that's a nice touch we'll go ahead and put that back in <clears throat> and then sorry I got a and um, you know decent size heat sink going on again and this is your mounting channel kinda like that 7 inch that I reviewed recently and uh, same basic construction you have these end caps here that come off with three bolts on both sides and then you know if you ever need to do any maintenance on this then you take these rails off and it looks like the whole thing just kind of pops off here and uh, yeah so we'll go ahead and take a look at the mounting hardware next to see how this mounts in that light bar 
so you get two bags in the box. And basically, one bag is for one mount. And so you have two mounts here, and we'll just do one for presentation purposes. So this is the actual mount that sits on top of the light, or I'm sorry, on top of wherever you're going to mount it, and then this is what sits against the light, and so then this is essentially just going to sit in here, and they put them really wide so that you have a margin where you can mount them, and once you put the bolts in here, it'll cinch it down so it'll bite, and you've got a ton of different washers, and I mean this monster mounting bolt, I mean look at the size of this thing. So. This just sits in like that, and that, that's what I mean by those feet that I keep talking about. So it's really nice that they put those in there. That way you can just concentrate on using your ratchet or your wrench to bolt down this side, and so you don't have to worry about keeping this thing uh, stabilized while you're tightening the bolt. So that's really nice touch there that I like. <clears throat> and then also you have this bolt that comes up through here, which will then meet a, bolt, a nut that you put, I believe it's this guy here. So this, this nut is going to end up sliding right through this channel right here, two of them, you know, one in that bag. And so this is going to slide through here, and then you can manipulate where exactly you want uh, the nut to sit in here, where you want the mounts to lay corresponding to where you planned on having it mounted up front or wherever you're going to mount it. And then you take this guy, and then it's going to sit just like so, bolt it down, and then you bolt it right to there. I'm not going to put it on my truck just because I have no room left for it, but uh, yeah. So it, it looks like a lot of parts. It looks really daunting looking at all these things uh, coming out of the bag, but they made it in such a way that they simplified it, and that's what I really, that's what I really like about these guys. So, uh, and everything, everything does look to be steel. Um, I don't know what kind of steel, but you know, it's, nice and hard and it doesn't really flex a whole lot so you may uh, you may break out your cone in the bar barbarian hands trying to cinch this thing down but that just means it's on there right so yeah so now sorry I'm just getting all this stuff back in so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go over the specs for you to let you know just how powerful this light really is so I'm gonna tell you exactly what it can do and then we're gonna show you firsthand on what this thing can actually do. So looking at this light, we have pulling the information off box beam site that they sent. <clears throat> so it runs on 72 watts. It's a uh, 24 LED Cree uh, style uh, LED light bar. Working voltage is 9 to 32, so it is good for you diesel guys. Uh, 30 degrees spot beam, so you have 30 degrees of viewing on these center guys here and 60 degrees on these so you get a much wider viewing angle on the ends there uh, color temperature is uh, 6000 K pure white waterproof rating is IP67 working temperature native uh, native 40 to 85 degrees centigrade and so I mean <laughs> wherever you are in the country you can use this light uh, dimensions with brackets are approximately oh, this is millimeters oh, okay here we go 11.89 inches by 4.17 by 4.25 uh, black die cast aluminum housing with a polycarbonate lens mounting bracket stainless steel bracket that's really good that's maybe they were steel I didn't know they were stainless that's awesome and uh, 30,000 hours of lifetime use certified by CE and ROH and uh, yeah so that's that let's see if there's anything else that I'm missing here um, don't think so. Let's look at the weight here. So shipping weight on this light, I mean, and this just goes to show you how, you know, once you actually feel this light, you can, you can see what I'm talking about, how just bulletproof this thing feels. In the box and everything else, this thing weighs four pounds. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a lug, you know, so it's really, really powerful and really heavy duty, uh, heavy duty and I mean just to give you an idea here 60 people have re reviewed this light and there's almost five stars it's 4.8 so I mean you know that you're buying 
a really, really solid light. And I've tested this thing out before, and uh, I'm thoroughly impressed with the operation of this light. So, I mean, they kind of give you a, a description of the people that can use this. I mean, I'd use it on my truck if I still had room. Um, you know, work trucks, off-road vehicles, 4x4, sometimes military, mining and heavy equipment, etc. Anything that you need light for, you can use this light. And the beautiful part about it is that it's the mounting options. It doesn't matter if you want to mount them, you know, right here and right here, or all the way out to the sides. As long as you have the clearance on the sides, you can mount this light any any which way that you want to mount it. So that's the uh, that's a really nice feature here, and um, this will be um, the second place or the second uh, prize given in the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And um, you know if if you if you see this video after the giveaway is over, or you just um, you know. Uh, didn't get it something uh, you know like I said I will be throwing a link to this on Amazon where you can buy it and um, I was actually pretty shocked at the uh, the, the price of this um, it's a very good value light so but uh, I'm gonna stop rambling and then um, you know the you know the usual drill with reviewing these lights we're gonna go ahead and just uh, pop the hood at night uh, hook up my wiring harness and we'll hook that up to this and we will give it a nice good test again so we'll see you then all right, so we're back outside and it's nice and dark again. And uh, same as usual, I have this uh, wire harness just kind of thrown out here like spaghetti, but it's hooked up to, uh, there it is, uh, right up there to the light bar, just, you know, for <clears throat> nice, easy demonstration of this light's performance. So now we're gonna go ahead and I keep, there it is. There she is. I'm going to place the switch to rest. Here we go. Okay, that's extremely bright. <laughs> so, wow, that's really bright. Oh, I can't see anymore. <laughs> but that's, I'm, I'm noticing a theme with <clears throat> Oxbeam's lights is, God, I'm seeing nothing but, <laughs> I'm blind. <laughs> this light is so powerful, but... There's a theme that I'm seeing, like you can even see the, the fog through the sky. This beam is so focused. But I'm like I said, I'm I'm noticing a theme with Ox Beam <clears throat> is that they're very their spotlights, they spot. But the nice part is these floods are putting out a huge amount of lights. So and if I just point it right here, you can see it's not only lighting up that hedge, but it's also lighting up everything else. I mean it may not be picking up as well in camera as I'm seeing it, but I mean, you know, it's just so bright. You know, it's lighting all of this up. So, um, this light is so nice. I can't, I just can't get over how great Oxbeam's lights are. You know, <clears throat> especially for what you're paying for them. I mean, these things uh, just perform. I love it. But, uh, you know, and it's the fact, like I said, you know, earlier in the video of just how sturdy these things feel, that's just an added bonus. Oh, just lost connection. So, not the light, it's my connection, so, but, uh, yep, the ground wire came out, so, no biggie, it's just what goes on, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to set you guys down to see if I can get this thing touched again, just to make sure that it works, there it goes, so, now we're right as rain again, so, not the light, it's not a, it's not a bad light, it's just my ground wire, came out of its uh, little speed connector so <clears throat> but yeah it's just it's such a beautiful light and the way that those uh the way that the floodlights look on the ends man that thing is beautiful the way they engineered that it just looks so fucking good you know, can't get over that but yeah so that's the light and uh all the spec and everything else on it and uh, like I said I will be throwing a link to this on Amazon and I hope you enjoyed the video but uh, you know still incredibly thankful to uh, Oxbeam you know big shout out to these guys otherwise I would not be you know reviewing this video or this light for you and uh, getting all these uh, amazing opportunities to review their stellar products so uh, you know once again big thanks out to, uh, to uh, the guys over at Oxbeam and uh yeah you guys should definitely check them out i mean i uh i wouldn't be saying all these positive things if uh if i was not thoroughly impressed with these lights and uh yeah i mean I, and i speak from experience you know this is what happens i don't know if you guys can see that but you know this is what happens with experience with a 
not so good light bar is all that moisture you know so <clears throat> but uh, yeah so we'll see and uh, at least in terms of uh, you know durability on this but I mean this thing already weighs two pounds more than that 24 inch you know so that just goes to show just how much tougher this light bar really is but anyway so um, yeah so again thanks for watching uh, thumbs up that would be great uh, if you found the video helpful and uh, comments questions leave them down below and uh, yeah so last I checked, uh, we're only uh, right around 55 subscribers left on the 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So uh, great job, guys. I appreciate it very much. And uh, but yeah, like it, share it, uh, tell your friends about it and whatnot, and we will get this. Uh, we will, you know, because this light's going to be entered in the giveaway as well, and uh, we will get this giveaway going. And uh, so almost there, guys. And uh, again, check these guys out, and there will be a link down below to where you can buy this light. So thanks, guys. Take care.